I have a personal vendetta against television. I really hate it. I really hate it, man. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about how kind of music. They're just after money. I don't want to be a part of the system just to make money. While they're making money, also they're making lots of political choices. Welcome to Pop and Politics, your guide to art and culture in Turkey. I'm your host, Kenan Besat Sharp. Each week, we host an artist, musician, director, writer, actor, or other creative worker in Turkey. Today, we are joined by rapper, musician, and songwriter Sarp Palur, known more widely by his stage name, Sanishar. He has released seven full length albums since 2007, including Ludovico I and II, Onun Jugun, Açık Venet, and most recently, Umut. In 2019, he spearheaded an important project called Susama. It was a musical manifesto of 14 verses, including 19 different artists. The song talked about a number of different issues from police brutality and the lack of freedom of speech to poverty and violence against women. The music video got 20 million hits on YouTube in the first week alone and was covered widely both in the Turkish press and internationally. Shanishar has also collaborated with Turkish pop queen Sezen Aksu, and he has been recording new live versions of his songs, collaborating with big and upcoming names in Turkish music, from Cem Adrian to Sena Şener. Sarp, welcome to the show. Hi. Thanks for coming. Uh, you're welcome. So you've been making music for a long time. I think you've been releasing music since 2005. Yeah, around that, yeah. And I'm curious, you know, you've been in the industry for a long time, creating creating music. What were things like when you began rapping? And I'm curious also what your audience was like then. If you take a time machine back to 2005, what was your <laughs> world? Well, first of all, there was no audience for Turkish rap at that time. We were just like a bunch of wannabe musicians and we were supporting each other that's all and uh, we were all making music in our homes and publishing it, it on internet but there was no youtube and so on mm. as i remember so we were using something like forums and um, there were some turkish rap forums there and we were uploading the songs there and we were getting the constructive criticism from our uh, peers and that was it. That was it mm. for the like first five years. That was exactly like this. And after that, we started making concerts, but but the concert <laughs> is not the right word for it, I guess, because <laughs> we were doing it in like cafes mm -hmm. and in daytime, and it was more more like more like support groups, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We were a bunch of rappers and we were just singing to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that was it. Yeah. That was it. So it was a small sort of underground community. Yeah, back yeah, then. yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 And of course, things have changed a lot recently. Like in the last five years or so, rap has really become mainstream in Turkey. Um, and a lot of the biggest people, most streamed artists are rappers. Um, it's really kind of overlapped with mainstream music in a lot mm -hmm, of ways yeah, and yeah, yeah. become almost the, one of the main genres of pop music. There's even a TV show about rap yeah, uh, yeah. on a mainstream television show. How have things changed for you since rap has exploded like this? Well... <laughs> what do you think of this change? Is it good or bad <laughs> that it's so popular? Well, personally, it's great because after all these years, finally, I proved to my elders in my family <laughs> that rap is a music genre and we have a job now uh, and a respectable one. Uh, and we start making money mm -hmm. after all these years. These are great. So I'm thrilled and happy about this change. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think that's a great that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 that's a great thing. Yeah, it's definitely changed a lot from two thousand five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you ask this, like, do you think it's getting broken as it mm -hmm. gets a wider audience? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Because, yeah. well, at first I thought like this because 
I was thinking that the rap artists were like warriors of a cause. Mm. And I thought that everyone was thinking like me. But after that, I realized, no, they're just a bunch of people that are thinking this music is for changing something and uh, is for uh, going against the wrongdoings of the world. Mm. Uh, so I said, yeah, it's a music genre, that's all. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, can, it can talk about anything. Yeah, you yeah. can make songs about anything. Now I have inner peace. Now, mm -hmm. now I, I, I made peace with, with myself and rap music. Uh, now we have a subgenre, let's say. Mm. Uh, then maybe conscious rap, we can say mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And the other part is becoming more mainstream. Well, now I think rap artists are gaining the, gaining the money pop artists uh, yeah. used to get. Yeah. And I'm totally okay with it because mm -hmm. the pop industry was, especially in the last 10 years, it was really bad. There was no sincerity mm -hmm. in songs. Mm -hmm. You know, there were all projects like some, somebody was writing and somebody was just singing and that was all. Uh, all the love songs didn't make me feel any mm. uh, sad or happy or be loved or want to be loved. Uh, so this music, the, today's rap music is, I think, really more sincere than the latest pop music. So it's really okay for me to uh, see the rap artists who doesn't talk about serious mm -hmm. shit, uh, are gaining money instead of the metacolum. That, that, mm. That's that's great for me. That's yeah, great. Definitely. It's their time. Because mm -hmm. it brings a new yeah. breath of realness yeah. into music. Yeah, yeah, for you. yeah, definitely. I see. Yeah. yeah. So you were talking about conscious rap, which we can say some of your work definitely fits that description. And I wanted to ask particularly about Susamam. Mm -hmm. I will not be silent. I can't be silent. Mm -hmm. That song from 2019, which is a big collaboration with lots of people. So, you know, that was a big moment where Turkish rap, you know, not only in Turkey, but got a lot of attention abroad as well. Um, yeah, and that song right. was written about, you know, in the Washington Post and all these other outlets. And actually, that's actually how we first met yeah. at a Middle Eastern Institute conference, yeah. a panel about Turkish rap, actually, in Washington, D.C. Um, so I, now that some time has passed since that song, you know, it, it went viral here. There were a lot of people who loved it. There mm -hmm. was also mm -hmm. a lot of kind of classic pro-government voices who criticized you guys. Um, how do you look back on that whole experience now? Would you do it again? Do you have any? Yeah, sure, I would do it again. Uh, I would do it better, actually. Mm. Uh, now, oh. now retrospect, retrospectively mm -hmm. speaking, it has lots of holes in it, and we should have been take it more seriously. But we were not expecting that <laughs> kind of a big uh, effect, you know. Uh, so we just did a song. Mm -hmm. I was making these songs for like 10 years or 15 years. I was writing the same things. And one day we decided to do it with a bunch of our friends. Mm -hmm. And that was a normal song for us. Uh, so we, did, we didn't take it as serious as we should. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the only remorse I have uh, that we should do it better. Mm -hmm. We we should have do it better, but that doesn't mean that I will do a new one and it will be a better one, because uh -huh. Turkey got more. I don't know. It's it's it feels more risky now to make such a song. Mm -hmm. You know you know what I mean. Definitely. And now if I if I make another one, we should go into more tricky topics mm, like uh, what? in Turkey, like uh, the, the refugees mm. uh, problem, for example. And uh, I'm not sure my ideas uh, are... Uh, <laughs> I'll get lynched from both sides, you know? Both from the both left sides. and the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should do a part about a uh, Kurdish problem. Let's mm -hmm. say, I don't know if it's, if it's the right word to say. Yeah, they'll take all that, But yeah. yeah, Kurdish problem, we should do something about it. LGBTI, we should do something about mm -hmm. it. And uh, 
and of course refugees. And these are also tricky parts. And my ideas are, I don't know, extra, extra liberal maybe about them. So mm -hmm. if I do something like this, I'm sure that we will get more hate than love. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's so risky for me. And also, that's not the only reason, of course. The government become more and more authoritarian since then. So the elephant is the, in the room is the government. Of cause, course. Because public, we can talk about ideas and you can like it, you don't like it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. But if government doesn't like your idea, that's a big problem in Turkey right now. So I don't feel comfortable doing something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's a big risk. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, despite saying, you know, those things, which is really true, the elephant in the room being the, the government and everything else, I noticed that you, you know, you refuse to back down from the things you believe in. I was thinking about your yeah, sure. next album you put mm -hmm. out. You put out Umut mm -hmm. or Hope mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. was it 2020, I think. Yeah. Um, and that was a really interesting album because even after all of the controversy of Susamam, um, you still had a lot of really interesting things to say there. Oh, thank um, you. you know, about, about war, about the Istanbul Convention, yeah. about even things like the delivery workers, yeah. you know, during, yeah. Uh, yeah. during the pandemic and all mm -hmm. these things like mm -hmm. that. And in, in a song there that I really like, um, Peshim de Kare oh, yeah, you say you. that, you know, I, until I die, I will sing these songs of, of freedom and equality. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. curious where that comes from for you, that impulse to want to talk about these things also in your music. Well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know originally where it comes from. Uh, I think if you live in Turkey, if you live in Middle Eastern countries, uh, you, you have to it's not okay for you to just shut up and make love songs. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever your profession is, you have to be political, I think, because this is a country uh, that makes you act, think, uh, political, politically. You can't uh, escape so it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is political and everything is a class issue here, you know? Uh, so, we have to we have to talk i don't know i'm as a citizen i watch like two hours three hours of news podcasts and broadcasts every day mm -hmm. that's all i talk when i'm sitting and having a beer with my friends so it should be in my songs am i right of by course. the way i'm a fan of mediascope big mm. time i watched for years <laughs> it's it's a, it's a great thing that we have such uh, free and big companies like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, your new office is great. It really <laughs> looks great. I was just expe expecting something like just only this room, but mm -hmm. it's huge, guys. It's huge <laughs> and it's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's, it, it's great to have projects like this to be able to mm -hmm. talk about these things openly because that's not the case in the mainstream. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, so one thing that's really interesting for me about your music is that on the one hand, you know, like you're saying, politics is a part of life. And if you want to make real music, then also that will be part of it. Um, I'm sorry. Please, let me ahead. just interrupt. Yeah. By saying that it sounds like I'm against the other kind of music. Mm. That's not I'm mm -hmm. at. That's not where, where I'm at. Not, not a bit. Yeah. Because we also need music for having fun. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's all necessary, but mm -hmm. uh, that's only what I feel about my music. Mm -hmm. You know, that's only, uh, I only judge myself, mm -hmm. not, not the others. And I like lots of different artists who doesn't make any political references uh, or anything like that. I even like some of the songs who says they're wearing bodega veretas and so <laughs> on. I all, even like them too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't agree with them, mm -hmm. especially this kind of music. I don't agree, but I don't. I don't judge them. It's just just for my music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely. All. Yeah, I wanted sense. to clear this. Of course, yeah. you know, it's a standard yeah. for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. That's that's yeah. all. That's all. Yeah, that makes sense, and that's actually kind of what I wanted to ask. There's something really. Uh, sort of uh, embracing about your music in the sense that it, it uh, opens itself up to lots of people. 
Because one thing I've noticed about your your fan base, and you have a, a big fan base, you're able to tour all over the country, different cities, um, and you know a lot of your music can be called political. You have a very kind of left wing or liberal attitude, but mm -hmm. I think the people who listen to you are not just people with the same ideas. It seems like you have a lot of fans who are from different backgrounds, different classes. Um, and in this moment where Turkey's so polarized, people are separated. I see you as kind of crossing the, the lines a little bit. Is it important to you to sort of accept and embrace other people? Well, I'm not really a... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want, of course. Because uh -huh. I don't want to be a masturbator who is just making music mm -hmm. for the people who are thinking exactly the same like me. Mm -hmm. So I want to change something. So we should trade ideas with ourselves by music. Uh, and that's that's what I aim. Uh, and if you're if what you're saying is true, that's great for me. I mm -hmm. don't know. Uh, I can't be 100 percent sure. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I but I can say m my listeners are not from only left side of the country. Mm -hmm. The left wing means something uh, different in Turkey in America. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I see my music. Uh, is like a Democrat kind of music, mm -hmm. not a Turkish left kind of music. Because mm -hmm. not sectarian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I don't know. I have really no idea about the economic ideals. Uh, what economic idea should run a country? You know, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't call myself a socialist, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, I only talk about things that are uh, I'm only after human rights and animal rights maybe mm -hmm. that's all that's all I care about yeah and I hate corruption and and these are the I think these are all uh, minimal standards that most of the uh, people who have conscious mm -hmm. should have yeah so I think it's normal for me to uh, get uh, streams from uh, the left one, the left wingers and right finger, right wingers at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did yeah. that make sense? It does. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think your music's it's about these values yeah, that should yeah, be universal yeah. rather yeah, than yeah, like yeah. A one yeah, program. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Yeah. I'm. I don't know. I don't have a military parka, mm -hmm. you know, like the most left wing yeah. wingers at uh, this country, or I don't have a red hat. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm only talking about the things that we should do. We shouldn't uh, be uh, run by uh, corrupt people. Mm -hmm. uh, we should respect each other. Human rights are, uh, and animal rights are uh, above everything beyond getting our getting our world destroyed mm -hmm. uh, climate change and that's all that, yeah. that that's all my songs about actually definitely oh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i can see that um so one last thing i wanted to ask is you know um in some of your music you've talked about uh you know resisting um ways to become more famous or more popular you're a really successful artist but for example you've talked about how you've resisted having a uh, major label contract yeah, yeah. or going on television, yeah. even if these things would make you more money or make mm -hmm. you more famous, mm -hmm. you look at those things with skepticism. And I wanted yeah. to ask what your approach is to the industry and what your own stance is of why you prefer to keep some distance. Well, I have a, I guess, personal vendetta against television. Mm -hmm. You know, I really hate it. I really hate it, man. And for years, uh, we were making music and we needed TVs at that time for us to reach some listeners. But of course, they didn't uh, see us that time. Yeah. And that's so normal, I know. I'm not saying, why didn't you listen at that? <laughs> I'm not saying that, but, uh, but when the right time came, we didn't need television to be famous or to be heard. Uh, and after that, uh, after we exploded with internet, then the TV industry mm. uh, starting to pay attention to us because we are just metas. 
you know, uh, it's not about the commodities me. For them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about how kind of music they're putting on. They're just after money, and that's so normal because this is how this world mm -hmm. works. But if I don't need television to live my life, so I won't go on it. Mm -hmm. I, I won't go on shows that I don't want. I don't want to be a part of the system just to make money. And while they can, they're making money, also they're uh, making lots of political choices to stay alive. And that's not honorable. So if I don't have to, I won't go on television. Yeah, That's all. And with the major label companies, it's something like the same. They're not about art. I don't know. I met lots of guys in Turkey in major music companies and they're only looking at musicians like numbers, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah, once upon a time you needed them and you had to go there to be famous or to be heard, to stay alive as a musician. But today it's not the case. So, uh, and I really don't think they don't affect your career that much. Uh, if you're a musician like me, like myself. Uh, I started putting my music on internet for free for years. And before the major companies knew there was something like internet and we can stream there, I started building my channels on there, fan base on there. Mm -hmm. So uh, today I have enough uh, connections mm -hmm. to make my music go to my listener's house without a label company. Mm -hmm. So why should I work with them? I yeah, because yeah. Yeah, you've proven you can do it on your own. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's this new generation all. of yeah, that's all. internet and, yeah. and the way music yeah. builds there. Yeah, of course they still have more financial mm -hmm. uh, resources power, and power, power yeah, yeah. than myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they would be uh, helping my career if I worked with them. But I made peace myself with thinking like my music is an alternative kind of music. I'm not making music to be people's uh, background music in their lives, in their movies, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, there's no reason for me to uh, try to reach more and more and more people because I'm making indie, alternative, different style of music uh, than pop music. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason for me to uh, try to be more popular. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because you do it on your own terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all. That's yeah. all. and it's more than enough. More than enough. I never imagined to live in the standards that I'm living here. Mm -hmm. Never. I never imagined that. It's it's more than enough. Yeah, definitely. Well, Sar, thanks so much for coming on the show. It was a real pleasure talking with you. Likewise, and Likewise. I can't wait to see thank what comes you. next. Thank you, thank you. I'm working on something new. Oh, great! I'm I excited. hope you like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to hear about it. <laughs>